consultant and ecologist and IBF specialist. On today's episode of Ask Dr. Ken, the question we are answering or considering is why do IVF treatment fail? Why do IVF treatment fail? Now it's sad to know that IVF treatment fail more often than and after paying so much amount of money in accessing this advanced fertility care, and sometimes or occasionally or often, it may just end up in failure. But there are a lot of reasons why IVF treatment cycles fail. Some of the reasons are related to the woman, and some other reasons are related to the man. And some of the reasons may not be unrelated to the expertise demonstrated during the IVF treatment cycle. When going over to the woman, uh, the common reason why IVF fails 95 to 98 percent of the time is because of the quality of the eggs. And when I talk about the quality of the eggs, I'm looking down into the genetic composition of the eggs. Because studies have shown that a lot of lots of embryos that apparently look normal and have gotten the best grading call it grade alpha, grade A, or grade 1, in whichever grading system is used, may also may have a lot of uh, chromosomal abnormalities, what we call in science aneuploidy. So you have a lot of these up to 95 to 98% of times in the embryos, you know, after doing pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. When such embryos are transferred, actually, yeah, it will not be unexpected that the failure will the failure could occur. So the common reason why the IVF treatment cycle fails is because of chromosomal abnormalities and nucleoids in the embryos that are transferred. When you want to ask why do they have is that just the nature, the quality of the embryos, the eggs, the oocyte that are gotten from the uh, patient or the client in question. Another reason why IVF treatment cycle fails would be because of the quality of sperm also. Oftentimes, you guys, morphology or the, the characters or the looks of sperm could actually be very, very bad. Actually, when you use a bad product to fertilize an egg, you know, I don't think you should expect so much. But oftentimes, of course, fertilization of course and pregnancy also of course. So bad sperms, terrible sperms, could actually be reason why some IVF treatment fails. And occasionally, combination of the two factors, you have poor air qualities and bad sperms. And poor air qualities increases with the increasing age. And that is why it is advisable that women should access IVF services or to attend having their family uh, life when they are a lot much younger because the older a woman gets, the poorer the quality of her eggs, the, the higher you know, the, 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 the magnitude of chromosomal abnormalities that could be gotten with the eggs. Another reason why IVF cycle, treatment cycle could fail also would be because of poor technical ability. Maybe there is a challenge with the embryo transfer, maybe difficult transfer, a situation where uh, a dummy embryo transfer was never done and you have a lot of trauma trying to put past the embryo through the cervix into the uterine cavity. I know studies have also, also shown that difficult embryo transfer, especially those that involve a lot of stimulation of the side of the cervix, will end up with air, uh, with, with, uh, with 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 uh, exuding of the embryos into the survival into the vaginal canal at the end of an embryo transfer activity. Uh, technical expertise also in in a part of the scientists or the doctors handling the direct may be some reasons occasionally why some of these treatment may not even get to embryo transfer maybe if the procedure of intracytoplasmic sperm injection is not done uh, properly the way it should or ought to be done of course you will have bad, bad fertilization or no fertilization in which case the treatment cycle will just be cancelled and there will be no embryo transfer so disease conditions in the part of the woman may also be reasons why these treatment cycles will fail. Disease conditions like a diabetes mellitus that is poorly controlled before commencement of the cycle could also make, can make a cycle to fail. 
uh, other disease condition like uh, metabolic disease, like uh, antiphospholipid antibody uh, syndrome, you know, could make uh, treatment uh, embryos not to take, or even after an uh, implantation, you could have recurrent miscarriages following some of these disease condition. So the onus lies on the uh, the doctor monitoring or managing the clients to make sure that disease condition are properly screened and treated as much as possible before even commencement of the IVF treatment cycle. Yeah. Having said all this, there are other reasons why IVF treatment cycle will fail. Sometimes it will be carelessness on the part of the patient, not adhering to the medical instructions like using of their luteal support medications and those medications that are given after embryo transfer. You know, so some of these things can make uh, IVF treatment cycle to fail. There are some other reasons that may not be uh, talked about in this forum, but for more information, you can contact us at Arts Hospitals and Diagnostics or better still visit our website at www.artshospitals.com or contact us through any of our social media uh, handle as displayed on the screen and uh, you should get more information about IVF generally. So till I come your way next time, I remain Dr. Kenneth Emida your IVF specialist, minimal access surgery. Thank you.